Thanks, Alex. I'm Morris Jones with live coverage on News Channel 8. Tonight, an unmanned Antares rocket exploded just a few seconds after liftoff from Wallops Island, Virginia. NASA's got a live news conference going on now. Let's listen in. Eastern time. Here to share more about today's events are on the phone, Bill Gerstenmeyer, Associate Administrator of NASA's Human Exploration and Operations Mission Directorate. Joining us here, Frank Culbertson, Executive Vice President and General Manager of Advanced Programs Group at Orbital Sciences. Bill Rebell, Director of NASA's Wallops Flight Facility. And also joining us by phone, Mike Safradini, NASA's International Space Station Program Manager. So um, we'll have some opening remarks. Um, we'll then take a few questions. Uh, we'll start with a couple folks here in the room, and then I know we have many on the phone as well. For those dialed in, when it's uh, your turn to ask a question, please limit it to one and press star one on your phone to ask a question. And we'll go ahead and start with Bill Gerstenmeyer. Thank you, Rachel. Um, again, I would just reiterate that launch, uh, launch is a really tough business. And when we, we look at all these events that occur flawlessly and go well, we need to recognize just how difficult and demanding this, this business really is. And, and tonight's events really show the, the difficulty that it takes for, uh, for us to do this task of delivering cargo to the space station. Um, Orbital will lead the investigation uh, along with the uh, FAA and NASA will be a participant in the investigation. Um, I think we're disappointed in this activity, but we have confidence in Orbital to understand the problem and to get back flying when they're ready to go fly. In terms of space station, we're in good shape from a consumable uh, supply standpoint on space station. Uh, there was no cargo that's uh, absolutely critical to us that was lost on this flight. The crew is in no danger, and, and Michael gives some more details about the other flights that are coming up and other activities that are occurring. But again, uh, no problem with station. We're in good shape from a consumable standpoint. And, and again, we, we just feel for, for Orbital, and we want, us, we want them to understand what occurred and, and get us back flying as soon as they're ready to go do that. So thank you. Okay, Frank. Thank you very much, Rachel, and thank you, Bill. Um, this is a tough evening to be talking about our mission, but uh, it's important that we share with you what's going on. On behalf of Dave Thompson and the entire orbital team, uh, we do ex want to express our um, disappointment that we were not able to fulfill our obligation to the International Space Station program and to deliver this load of cargo, uh, especially to the researchers who had uh, science on board and the people that were counting on uh, the various uh, uh, hardware and, and components that we're going to the station. Um, it's a tough time to lose a launch vehicle like this and its payload. Uh, it's uh, not as tragic as, as uh, losing a life associated with it, and so we're very happy to report that there were no injuries and the safeguards both in flight and on the ground worked as they should have, and uh, all we lost was hardware. That hardware, however, is very important and very high value to the company and to our customers. Uh, our team worked very hard to prepare it. We conducted a lot of testing and analysis to get ready for this mission. Uh, however, something went wrong, and we will find out what that is. We will determine the root cause, and we will uh, correct that, and uh, we will come back and fly here at Wallops again, uh, hopefully in the very near future. But we will do all the things that are necessary to make sure it is as, as safe as we can make it, and, uh, and that we do solve the immediate problem of this particular mission. Um, the investigation will include evaluating the debris uh, that um, we will find around the launch pad and everything associated with it. With that, I do want to caution the public, and Bill will speak a little bit more about that. This is an accident site, and it is a rocket, and it had a lot of uh, hazardous equipment or hazardous materials on board that people should not be looking for or wanting to collect souvenirs over. Um, if you find anything that washes ashore in the local area or um, uh, came down in, in a, on your farm or in your yard, please make sure that you call the number that Bill will give you or, or contact the local authorities and definitely do not touch it and keep people away from it. We'll also be evaluating the telemetry. Uh, we have, we have uh, 
reams and reams of data that comes down from the rocket during launch, and we will be analyzing that carefully to see if we can determine exactly the sequence of events, what went wrong, and then what we can do to fix it. We also have video evidence that we'll be evaluating uh, to help us with the investigation. So we've got a team that's going to start first thing tomorrow morning at daylight locally uh, on the island, but we are starting now to take a look at the data and uh, determine what, uh, where, where the problem started. We've got a very professional team working that, uh, led by our uh, accident investigation board and its chairman, and, uh, and they have already begun their work. Um, we will determine corrective action. Uh, we take our jobs very seriously. Uh, Orbital, as most uh, companies that are involved in this uh, sometimes high risk but always high energy business, uh, have to be prepared for things not going exactly as planned. And uh, we will uh, look very carefully at what might have happened here. And, uh, and we will come back to Wallops, as I said. We will fly again as soon as we can safely uh, with confidence and as soon as we can start delivering cargo to the space station again. Uh, I'll be happy to take some questions when this is over, but uh, before I uh, finish my remarks, I'd like to also th uh, express my thanks to the NASA, Mars, and, um, uh, and all the local folks in the area who have been helping uh, us deal with this situation and, and move forward. We had a tremendous team working the, the launch uh, coming from the government and from the state of Virginia and, and from our own team, and, and they worked very hard to get to this point. It's a big disappointment to not be able to successfully deliver that that cargo, but as I said, we will do that in the future. Thank you very much. Bill? Thank you. <clears throat> so from a Wallops perspective, uh, we worked uh, diligently, uh, certainly with local authorities um, and with the partners to basically make sure from a safety standpoint, the areas were clear uh, before, uh, during, and then certainly after the launch. Um, we obviously had set up uh, hazard areas uh, as we would normally do uh, for an event like this. Uh, and so all that was in effect. And, and uh, as I just mentioned, all those areas were clear. Frank had also indicated, uh, at least at this point, we uh, have no reports of any injuries, uh, which is always uh, very good news. Um, our preliminary reports show that damage was contained to kind of the south end of Wallops uh, Island uh, in particular uh, in that predetermined uh, hazard area. So uh, that's predominantly where many of the pieces came down. But as Frank suggested, uh, you know, there, there is a fair amount of scatter and certainly as it hits the water, it'll likely uh, float into other areas. Um, emergency responders uh, have been on the scene. Uh, since the event, and uh, they're, they're still uh, have it, have it uh, locked down tonight. As Frank mentioned, uh, we'll hit the area hard at, at daybreak um, and uh, start uh, collecting and cataloging uh, the data. Um, uh, you know, we plan for the possibility of, of, of a failed uh, launch attempt. Uh, obviously, we hope that that does not occur, but as, uh, as has been mentioned, that uh, happens from time to time. Uh, and our, our job, first and foremost, is to guarantee public safety. Uh, Orbital-led team will, will uh, take over the investigation uh, of the explosion and um, pick up more uh, and release more information as it becomes available. Um, and, and as Frank said, as a result, uh, there may be a possibility of debris washing up uh, onto some of the beaches, uh, into some of the uh, areas uh, surrounding uh, the island. If people uh, do find any debris um, or anything that might be suspect, something that doesn't look familiar, um, we would ask that you stay away from the area and please call uh, our incident response team. Uh, and the number is 757-824-1295. Uh, uh, and so, so again, our incident response team, uh, their phone number is 757-824-1295. And we'll get that uh, out uh, more widely, uh, certainly afterwards. But, but I just want to say uh, thank you in advance uh, for working with us as, as we kind of uh, pick up the, the remains from, from this scene. Thank you. Okay, Mike. Of course, uh, we are very disappointed with the events of this evening. Uh, the Cygnus spacecraft is a significant part of the logistics capability that supports ISS and makes us the success that we have been to date. Uh, but we have every confidence in the orbital team and their ability to uh, get to root cause, uh, resolve the issues, and get back to flying to ISS. Uh, as a program, of course, we managed the, uh, 
the station uh, to protect for just such an event should it occur. Uh, so therefore we keep uh, logistics on board the ISS that protect us for about four to six months uh, in the event uh, that other uh, logistics vehicles can't make it to ISS. So in fact, uh, our logistics uh, on board today, if no other spacecraft showed up, uh, takes us well into next year. Uh, and so from a consumable standpoint, as Mr. Gershenmeyer talked about earlier, we're in, we're in good shape. Uh, in addition to that, uh, tomorrow morning at 2.09 uh, p.m. Central Daylight Time, uh, the, uh, the uh, I, I pause because I think that's going to be Central Standard Time, but anyway, uh, the Progress vehicle will launch out of Baikonur and uh, be on its way to ISS. Um, and uh, SpaceX, of course, also has a flight. Uh, they have the range for December 9th. Uh, given the logistics on board and, and these spacecraft, uh, we will continue to uh, do uh, the, the research work we have to do on board. Uh, of course, we did lose hardware uh, with this flight. We lost uh, quite a bit of research hardware, which we'll uh, work to uh, with the uh, different providers to uh, recover and, and get them opportunities back. Live coverage on News Channel 8. You've been watching a live NASA news conference. Tonight at 622, an unmanned Antares rocket exploded just a few seconds after liftoff from Wallops Island, Virginia. The cargo ship was carrying 5,000 pounds of equipment and experiments, including 1,400 pounds of food. There were no injuries. Live coverage here will continue to track this story. I'm Morris Jones. Keep it here on News Channel 8.